This is the ex second example in the PowerPoint presentation that I'm going to show you how to do because I didn't have time to do it in at least one of my classes. So I'll just put it on here. Basically, we have a um, 15 micro coulomb charge positive here. So that's 15 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. And we have a 6 at the origin, 6 micro coulombs. That's 6 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs here. And in the middle, uh, at 1 meter, we have 21, negative 21 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. We want to find the net resulting force on this middle particle from these two. Well, the one uh, at 0 is pulling it to the left. The one at 2 meters is pulling it to the right. And so I have to use Coulomb's law twice. Um, and that's F equals K Q1 times Q2 divided by R squared. So F1, uh, we already know that K is 9 times 10 to the 9th newtons meter squared per coulomb squared times Q1. It doesn't matter which one I call Q1, so I'll call the positive one Q1. 6 E to the negative 6 coulombs times 21 E to the negative 6 coulombs. Notice I didn't put the negative in for the 21 because all I need to know from that negative is that they're attractive and it's going to pull to the left. And that's all over how far apart are they? They're one meter apart because this is zero, that's one meter. And I'm going to square that. And I'm going to get an answer. And my answer for this one would be negative 1.134 newtons. Why negative? Because it's to the left. Remember, left is negative, right is positive. So F2 is going to be the same thing except for one number different. Um, of course, that's, that is a K. It's a constant. This time, instead of 6, we're going to put 15 e to the negative 6 coulombs. Still have 21 in the middle, negative 6 coulombs. And how far apart are these two? Well, 1 to 2 would be 1 meter apart. And don't forget to square that. So F2 is going to equal positive if we multiply these three on the top together. Dividing by 1 squared is going to be the same, going to give me the same number. So it's going to be 2.835 newtons positive to the right. So if I subtract that, from 1.134, I get a net force. <clears throat> so F net equals F2 minus F1, which gives me a positive number of 1.701 newtons to the right. And when I say negative, that F1 means it's negative 1.13. So it'd be, if you want to do it this way, it'd be plus a negative because F1 is negative and so it's going to be 2.835 plus a negative 1.134 which is the same as 2.835 minus 1.134 and it gives me a net force of 1.701 newtons to the right and there will be one like that on the test so be sure you look over this again.